How's it going, guys? Today we're going to do a quick walkthrough through the TDN app, how to get it linked to us, how to set up your account, as well as reading and flashing your vehicle. Um, once you download the TDN app from the App Store or the Google Play Store, you want to open it. Immediately, you'll be hit with the privacy policy you need to accept, as well as the licensing agreement had done. This app connects to the MPVI or RTB using Bluetooth, so you need to make sure that you enable that. And then you want to use the interface um, so that it'll transfer all your files to our our cloud account so we can upload your own files. Now, once you are at this position where you can see the home screen, you will go to tools and then set up RTV. And then you will follow the on-screen prompts, which I will do right now. Plug the, OB, or the RTV into the OBD port. And then you'll wait for the green light and then hit ready. And then on the RTB, you'll feel a little button on it. You'll press and hold that until the blue light starts flashing. Now that line's flashing, it's going to search for the device. And once it finds the device, it'll start pairing and activating the device. Once the device has been paired, uh, you will click sign in. If you have an HP Tuners account through their website, you can use that to log in. Otherwise, you will need to create an account. I have an account made, so I will log in. And then once, once you are logged in, you will see the background change to our VSE orange. And then from here, you can link your tuner. And I will put the code on the side of this video, but it is YB KB Boosh. Then you will see a pop-up saying you're successfully linked. I was already linked to our account. Then you'll hit OK. From there, you can hit the icon on the left. That'll take you back to the home screen. And then from here, we will start to read the vehicle. So you'll hit Flash, Read Vehicle. And I'll tell you that if you have a push to start or a key start, it'll tell you what to do. For push to start, with your foot off the brake, you'll just press the start button for 10 seconds. That will enable the run position. And then click ready, and it will begin the read process. This process usually takes between 5 and 10 minutes after it's done syncing with the servers and sending us your read file. To read the vehicle, you'll go to read vehicle, you'll place the truck in the on position and hit ready. From here, you'll follow the on screen prompts. So we'll turn the ignition back off. 
and then hit OK. Once it's done reading, I'll have you turn the ignition back on. Once it's finished, it'll automatically upload it to our servers so that we can modify the file and get you your tune file. Uh, anytime you reconnect or plug your RTD back into the truck, it's a good idea to resync the interface just so you know that the RTD and your app are communicating. To do so, you'll go to Tools and then Resync to RTD. Once you receive an email back stating that your tune files have been uploaded, to add them to your TDN app, you need to go to Sync Files. It will contact the server and upload the files. Now, once the files have completed syncing, when you open up your vehicle, you will see your ECM read if you need to return the truck back to stock, as well as your tune file. To write the vehicle, you will put the truck back into the on position. And then you will select your tune file and write. Turn the ignition off. Press OK.
Turn the ignition back on. Hit OK. The ECM has been flashed. Once you're back to the main screen, turn the ignition back off. Then you're able to start the vehicle.